Okay, so next up is uh, Denis Gravel, a alumnus from uh, Open Badge Forum 1. Well, thank you. Thank you, Don, for the uh, uh, for the invi invite. Am I on? Yeah. Um, so uh, I am now doing some work with uh, with ITRIB uh, as uh, their director of education. And what is ITRIB? Uh, it's uh, it's affiliated with the uh, with the Aga Khan, uh, and all of you know this uh, uh, the Aga Khan Museum here in Toronto. And uh, the Aga Khan is the spiritual leader of the Ismailis. There's about 70,000 Ismailis in, uh, in uh, Canada, and there's about 15 million Ismailis uh, around the world. And uh, here are some of, some of the agencies that AKDN, the Aga Khan Development Network, um, uh, has under their, uh, their structure, uh, which includes uh, microfinance, education services, Aga Khan Foundation, Aga Khan University, and the University of Central Asia in Nairobi. Uh, the mandate of the Ismaili Tariqa Religious Education Board is to facilitate an environment to provide uh, opportunities for the community uh, to, to access quality religious and non-religious education. Uh, and this can be done in various formats, uh, workshops, seminars, training, and online and hybrid is where they want to move. Uh, so this is not only religious programs, volunteer training, Arabic classes. In fact, uh, over the last uh, six months, uh, we launched over uh, 20 different programs, one of which where we're using uh, badges. I'd like to thank Don for for his guidance uh, and to certify teachers and trainers in online hybrid delivery using uh, Moodle uh, and the Virtual Learning Center we call the VLC, based on a competency model that was developed by ITRIM. And uh, it's state of the art stuff that that they are doing uh, through uh, through the uh, through ITRIM. Um, uh, from uh, uh, bridging the gap between education technology to virtual reality. Um, so this is the programming uh, where uh, the, the teachers received um, a badge and not only do we deliver this here uh, across Canada, but we're also de uh, delivered it to the UK and, and Europe. And uh, the, the pilot, uh, 11 uh, teachers, actually uh, su successfully completed uh, the, uh, the competency framework. And uh, these teachers came from BC, Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal. And the badge was issued uh, to validate their competencies and to provide certification. And that is used for professional development and, and uh, for those teachers hired by ITRIB, uh, a salary increase. And now we're not only ex expanded to UK, Europe, but now we're delivering these uh, workshops online uh, to Japan and the US. This is what the badge looks like. Uh, very simple, uh, very, um, uh, very unique uh, uh, credential for ITRIB. And my challenge, and I'm at table nine, please come and see me. I don't have any goodies to offer you, but I'd like to have an interesting discussion on um, what is, uh, how do you raise awareness to the customer uh, uh, in uh, the value proposition of an alternate credential. We always talk about the employers, but what is the value proposition and how do we market this to whoever is going to be, uh, be uh, issued a badge? And where can a user actually store these badges? And that's something I would like to know. Where I know there's LinkedIn, there's Mozilla Backpack, there's, uh, there's the portfolio. However, where are other avenues where clients can actually um, store their badges? So that's my challenge, table nine. Thank you.